hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful and blessed day i'm coming on today because i am going to be making a quick tutorial on how to assemble this uh little portrait box i made and i shared it on my instagram i got a couple requests to make a tutorial so uh, let me go ahead and show you the box um this here i made using the dulce collection and using dollar tree items it's basically like a little clipboard right here and you can put a picture there or a cut apart anything you want that being said let me move this off to the side here what you will be needing is these little boxes right here that dollar tree is currently carrying they are this color wood just like a plane but what i did is to save some time painted mine i did the border because we're going to be matting these with some paper maybe you'll need two of these and then this is the frame that you will need from dollar tree as well so what i do first is of course i painted that already and i removed the backing to this frame I'm going to use my little screwdriver here to take this piece off from here. I removed it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over here in a little tray so that I know where it's at. And voila, that's what you're going to have. So you go ahead and you grab your hot glue gun and you like put some glue on here. Okay. And you got to move quick because... You know the hot glue dries fast so you want to make sure you line it up in the front because it's in the front where um you know you see this part the most you don't really see the back and the thing about these boxes as well from dollar tree is that they're not even so when you are going to pick your boxes definitely make sure that you pick one that is um you know even this piece here warps if you can see that what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to move it up just a tiny bit so that I can get right there in between those two perfectly, like right there. I'll probably butt it up to this one because this is the one that's shorter than this one. So that way I can just stick my screw through there. Not the greatest at making tutorials. This is why I don't make them. So again, moving kind of quick here. I'm going to butt it up and make it even. I didn't pay attention right now to the edges so you got to make sure you center it on the edges here right there i'm gonna try and screw this in here this part i'm gonna like pause it so i can do it because it's kind of hard to do it on camera but you're just basically you want to get it in between these two and the center like right there because that's going to join them together so let me do this and i'll be right back that's how you assemble this and that is the base of your little box so let me fix my camera so i can show you how i'm going to decorate this i'm not going to need this black piece that was on the back of the frame unless you really want to use it you can go ahead and do that but i choose not to so now if you notice we have this little shape here and i actually did cut out the little heart from there so the way you do that is you measure up your boxes you can mat it whatever size you want i already have my pieces pre-cut here so this one here is the one for one of these drawers my little paper measures two and three quarters on both you know on all sides so what I do is that I grab it and I place it on here and then I use my little scoring tool, this thing here, and I just kind of go in and varnish it and just kind of like uh, emboss the shape on there. So then, or you can also glue it on there. You know, we, we all watch somebody do it and then we just kind of go from there. So I'm just going to grab this tool here. Let me back this up. This is a weird angle for me. I don't ever record like this. But So what I do is that I grab my little tool and I start feeling out the shape. So I just kind of like cut in like this. You can also use your little scissors. But just feel for the shape as you go cutting um, it out. 
You can also trace it with a pencil. Just come up in here with your little scissors, your detailing scissors, and cut away some of this stuff. And there you have it. That's how you get the little heart shape in here. And to adhere it, simply, I like to start with the heart right here like this. Make sure that I glue this down right the first time because then if you try and remove it, it will tear your paper. So I just do it like that and then I just come in, lift it a little and get the edges. There you have it. That is the first little box. And you just stick it in there. And I will do the second one and I will be right back. And that's how they look. So now your your sides, you could mat these two. And this color, you can pick whatever color you want with whatever collection you're working with. So I cut these little squares out and these measure, and I always do that wrong, two and three quarters. So I'm going to put this one on here. side I just love this paper it's so so pretty and then you'll do the same over here I just put the hot glue on the whole paper and just stuck it on down for the top I cut it a little too big because I didn't measure it correctly the first time what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this paper here and then I'm just going to kind of crease it to see where more or less I'll cut it You have your little thing and you clean your edges as you go for this part up here paper measures six and three quarters yep it's a six and th six and three quarters all around long time you're just going to come in now that you matted everything and you know stick this in there it's such a tiny screw which makes it kind of like hard so i'm going to do that off camera so you're just going to screw it back into the same oh no wonder <laughs> oh my goodness so i totally missed the hole if you can see that here I totally missed it and made a whole new hole. That's why I was having trouble putting it in in the first place. So when you're off camera, make sure you're putting it in, in the actual hole that was already made. So you don't do what I just did. And this is why, guys, I don't do tutorials. But anyway, this is a bit wobbly. The E6000, hopefully when it dries, holds it into place. And also the difference between mine is that this one was actually flush compared to this one this one's a little off so definitely make sure that when you find these items you're looking at the back that they line up and they're both the same you know more or less the same size because that would definitely help you when you're making it and another thing i noticed i used a bigger screw on this one and this one has a smaller screw so that's why this one's a bit more sturdier that is how you assemble it i will
All right, guys, so here is the final product. This is what it turns out or how it turned out. I am very satisfied with it. Um, it does require a lot of patience and just burnt fingertips, but it's so like worth it once you embellish it. But here's the way I decorated this one. And I love how this like shelf here looks, these drawers. And then you can just, um, you know, stuff them with goodies or anything. So this is your... Dollar Tree DIY it was only three bucks and then you know you just go and use whatever collection you would like to So let me just bring you close in right here so you can see the details and these little uh, cotton candies I made and I thought they went perfect. So I just layered all the sweets here and Then you can just add something here Like if this was a picture You just bring it here and you clip it and it's like a perfect little display for pictures you know uh, probably like a four by six maybe so you just like display whatever you know picture means a lot to you even like the wallet size would be fine so that you don't cover up the little horsey right here so yeah this is going to a special lady and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful so god bless you all and have a wonderful day bye